Welcome to the Crypt of the Scare of God. As far as opening hand goes, yeah, I like it. We've got three lands, that, or excuse me, two lands in the hand of Demir Signet. Yeah, I like it. Little light on lands, but we'll keep on this one. Let's get the Scare of God popped back up. And we are playing against Nissa, Vastwood Seer. So hopefully we don't get uh, Eldrazi'd out super quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Polluted Delta. Let's go get that down, and then anything else, we're going to pass it under our opponent. Uh, we are playing the Scarab God. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, each opponent loses X life, and you scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Then for a four-mana activation, exile target creature card from a graveyard. Uh, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 black zombie. Drawn to Orb Urborg. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go for um, Pluto Delta. I meant to grab a uh, non like a shock laying off of that one last time, but we'll just go and grab an underground C. Uh, let's go and get down Urborg. Let's go and tap out for Demir Signet and then anything else. We'll go and pass turn. Playing gets Nissa, Basswood Seer. Uh, whenever Nissa enters the battlefield, um, you may search your library for a basic force card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your library. Whenever lane enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven more lands, exile Nissa, uh, return her to the battlefield, transformed under her owner's control, his or her owner's control. Then for the plus one, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield, otherwise, put it in your hand. Then for a, a minus two, four, Four, four elemental token minus seven untap it to six lands and become six six elemental tokens until end of turn that you're still lands but i'm just going to get down live crafters too okay there we go kind of marathon reading on that one it's going to get down a command tower that does put us at four total mana so what we can do is with dreams is that we can actually discard all three of these cards and put three cards on top of our library if you want to stack it any certain way. I think I'm going to be okay with that. Let's see if we want what we want to grab. Um, we do have City of Brass to get down uh, next turn that will actually put us online for the Scare of God. Then we'd actually start kind of going for some of these activations uh, with Scare of God getting these into the graveyard. Now one of the fun things about playing uh, the Scare of God, or at least in my particular build of the Scare of God, is stuff like Frexy and Delver. So you're going to bring be able to bring it back out for four mana. At the same time, you're going to be able to bring back another creature with it and really kind of start putting some pressure on your opponent, which makes for a uh, really fun build. Now you can definitely go with zombies if you wanted to go with the Scare of God. You definitely have that up. Oh. Then you have keep that player chooses a color until end of turn. Uh, lands tap for mana, produce a mana instead of any other color. Okay, we still have Demir Signet, so it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and go for, um, yeah, that's going to be lands on that one. Let's go and tap Demir Signet, and we're going to tap out on black. Let's go and for, go for dreams. Discard, uh, discard Scab, Frexian Delver, and then Grave Titan. We're going to click OK on that one, and then we're going to search our library for three cards. Okay, let's go and get this popped out just a little bit bigger. Okay, so we ended up going for Mesmeric Orb. We have Training Grounds and Thirst for Knowledge. So let's go and put Orb on top of our library. Let's go and put Training Grounds on top, and then we will go and put that Thirst for Knowledge on top too. Okay, and our opponent will get down Hall of Gemstone. So basically with Hall of Gemstone, what's going to happen is that uh, we have to choose a color, and then our lanes are only going to tap for that color. Uh, since we do have Demir Signet, we can still choose black or blue, depending on what color we want to go for. And we'll kind of still be in an okay spot after that. Let's go and go for blue on this one. Yeah, let's go and choose blue. And let's double check something real quick. Yeah, it's only going to tap out for blue no matter what we do. So uh, we can draw three cards and discard two cards unless we discard an artifact card. Um, let's go ahead and get down City of Brass. And then let's go ahead and go for the Scare of God. That's going to be blue. And actually, let's do it this way. Let's go and tap one of the blue to go for Demir Signet. Actually, it's a different one than City of Brass. Either way, we're going to have to take that damage. All right, add that black blue to our mana pool, and we're looking at blue... And let's go and get down the scare ground. There we go. Anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Now, we do have that thirst for knowledge. We still have training ground on top, and we have mesmeric orb. So hopefully, we can get a little bit more card draw going. That's going to allow us to kind of dig a little bit deeper. Um, I ended up going for training ground because that's going to give us a really good reduced cost off of the scare of God, simply only having to pay about two mana to bring stuff out of the graveyard. And then with thirst for knowledge, it's going to allow us to dig a little bit deeper into our library, hopefully, and kind of get a few reanimator targets into the graveyard if we get something going. But also with mesmeric orb, whenever we get that untapped step, that's going to allow us to really start dumping some cards into our graveyard and really kind of start putting some pressure on our opponent, at least getting some really good reanimator targets going. Okay, our opponent will be getting down Nissa. Let's go ahead and we can go for a Scarab God activation in response to that if we want to get that scry going, but we know it's on top of our library. In fact, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go for because that's gonna give us a pretty good chunk off the Scarab God. So let's go, go for the activation off Frexine Delver. That's gonna be one, two, three, four. We'll tap black. And then actually let's sequence it this way. Sorry about that. Let's add black off City of Brass. All right, so now we're going to go for the Scare of God activation on Frexy and Delver. We're going to be able to bring back Grave Titan, and that's also going to really increase the number of zombie count that we're going to get on our opponent on this one. 
Okay, look at that board state. All right, we'll just go ahead and simply just choose a blue on this one. And then choked, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and put uh, training grounds on top. Actually, we've done most of our, our, our options out of the graveyard. So let's go ahead and put that on the bottom front. I know we kind of grabbed that off of that dreams, but I kind of messed that one up. Um, I do like orb. We'll go ahead and put that on top of our library. Let's go ahead and grab choked. That way we can put that on top too. Let's go ahead and come into play. We don't have anything to reveal off of that. No. And let's go and push in with the Scarab God. That will be a 5-5 five, five coming across, and then we'll really be able to kind of start attacking our opponent's life total after that one. All right. Now, like I said, we're not technically running Zombie Tribal in here, but we do have a lot of zombies in here. As you can tell, you know, Frexian Delver, Grave Titan, entering the battlefield two extra zombie definitely really helps us get that scry going. Um, as far as next turn is concerned, uh, we can also still go and go for Possess Scab to get that onto the battlefield. That'll be an additional five life, uh, life, life loss for our opponent. And... Um, Typically, when you're playing against these Nissa decks, they tend to run a lot of Eldrazi. They ramp into a lot of really big creatures, and it makes it hard for you to really kind of uh, do anything late game. So if we can almost really kind of swarm our opponent with a ton of creatures, a lot of these activations or these triggered upkeep abilities of the Scarab God, that allows us to really kind of start putting some pressure on our opponent. All right. But yeah, outside of the zombies, we have some fun stuff in here too, like Platinum Angel, Lord of the Void, uh, Shieldred, Whispering One. That's another way for us to kind of start attacking our opponent, at least their board state too. And then Frexian and Gesture. We have a ton of spot removal in here too so if we can start drawing into some of that spot removal we'll be able to go for that now as far as how much mana we have next turn we're looking at one two three four five six so we can go for a scarab god activation um, more than likely we'll hit the land drop that will put us online for thirst for knowledge to kind of dig a little bit deeper into our library uh, we're looking at a scry four scry five so hopefully we'll be able to find something good off of that and we'll kind of dig a little bit deeper so we'll probably not go for that in response to the uh, upkeep trigger of the scarab god because i like leaving us up for thirst for knowledge on this one all right see so we're drawn to and we'll go and choose blue on this one too so we're going to get scry four Ooh, Demon of Dark Schemes. That actually sounds really good. All other creatures get minus two, minus two. Now, the only downside to this is it's going to take care of a lot of creatures, but it's going to wipe our opponent's entire board state. Uh, Glimpse the Unthinkable. Let's go ahead and put that on the bottom for right now. We'll put Glimpse on the bottom. We're going to put Demon of Dark Schemes on top of our library. Okay. So will be some life loss for our opponent. Now, if we do end up going for that Demon of Dark Schemes, that's going to take care of two of our zombies and give us a reduced cost, but I really like going for it at this point right now. And if we wanted to, one, two, three, four, for a second, we could actually just simply hard cast it. Uh, let's go and dig a little bit deeper with Thirst for Knowledge. I kind of like going for that one. It's going to be uh, blue. And tap out for blue. Let's go for Thirst for Knowledge, draw three cards, and then discard two cards. And let's go and discard uh, Crypt Gas, and then we'll get rid of Frantic Search. Okay, let's go to Shock and Water Grave. We're going to pay two life. Um, oh, I did that backwards. I meant to go for... Dang it. Okay, so that will complicate us. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Sorry, this is like the third or fourth uh, Scarab God video I've done today. And uh, I don't like messing up like that, but sometimes that does happen. Um, that's a bummer. We can bring back Crypt Gas. That'll give us a little bit of extra mana. We go for Possessed Scab, too. Um, let's go and push him with uh, Grave Titan, Frexian Delver, and Double Zombies off that one. Sorry, I just got to switch up in my head that we were going to uh, be, uh, <laughs> we didn't want to reanimate Crypt Gas and uh, chunked it in the graveyard. All right, so we got a full crew coming across. It's going to be 14. Now, let's see what our opponent's going to go for in response to this. All right, opponent's going to crack a clue token for Tireless Tracker. And that will put them down to 12. And then anything else we need to go for, no, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Yeah, sorry about that misplay. Uh, in my head, what I was thinking was we don't want Crypt Gas to be reanimated. And so that's why I was like, we'll get rid of it. And then I just completely got it mixed up that we need to... Uh... <laughs> We need to put Demon of Dark Schemes into the graveyard to really get that going. But we will be looking at a pretty good trigger off of the, uh, the Scarab God during our opponent's upkeep, or during our upkeep. It's going to be um, one, two, three, four. It's going to be four zombie triggers. And if we need to, we can actually simply just cast Demon of Dark Schemes. And that'll allow us to kind of take care of uh, most of the creatures over there. Take care of Nissa. We'll see if Nissa's going to get flipped. And then Tireless Tracker. Now, that will make it to where they can still block with Tireless Tracker. Uh, but at this point right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. And we still have another activation to go for off of the Possessed Scab. So if we actually want to go for this and bring back Thirst for Knowledge, that's something that we can do to kind of dig a little bit deeper into our graveyard because we still have an open activation to go for for our opponent. Opponent's going to go for Lingify. Um... 0-4 and loses all abilities. Um, let's do this. Let's go and go in response to that one. Add that mana to our mana pool. Let's add Demir Signet off of that. Black-blue. 
and we'll take one damage off City of Brass. Um, let's go ahead and go for, we'll bring back, I guess Possess Scab, it's still going to be a 4-4. Four, four. It'll be better than Crypt Gas. Because we're only looking at one swamp, and it's going to be hard for us to get out from beneath Hall of Gemstones. Let's go and do that. Let's go and exile a Possess Scab. That allows us to bring back something out of the graveyard, too. And let's go and go for Frantic Search. It's going to allow us to just dig a little bit deeper and at the same time untap some of our lands. All right, our opponent will pass the turn. So if we do end up going for Demon of Dark Schemes, that's going to put us at 2, 4, then 8 coming across, which is going to put them down to 4. I'm trying to figure out if this is exactly what we're going to go for, because we're looking at three blockers from our opponent. That's going to be them blocking on Grave Titan, Frexian Delver. Let's see how we want to do this. See so we get going. Uh, we're still going to go and choose black on this one, since we did end up losing the Scarab God to that activation. Let's see what we draw into. Draw into Necromancy. Okay. Let's go and do this. Let's go and go for Frantic Search. That's going to be um, black mana. Go tap out into Mirror Signet. So we're going to draw two cards and have to discard two. Ooh, there we go. Massacre Worm. Beautiful. Uh, let's go and discard Massacre Worm. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of, at this point, Demon of Dark Schemes. Actually, we'll go and hold on to it. We'll get rid of uh, Underground River. Then untap up to three lands. Let's go and go for Necromancy. That's going to be one, two... And what this should do is we're going to be able to reanimate that on Massacre Worm. It's going to give all of our opponent's creatures minus two, minus two. Now, still will leave Tireless Tracker on the battlefield, but that should give us at least two triggers. We'll see if our opponent wants to go for a secure tri belt or crack off of this one or not. But we're still looking at at least getting a few extra triggers off Massacre Worm. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to push in on this one. Okay, our opponent's creature is going to get minus two, minus two until the turn. And then whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, they're going to lose two life. All right, opponent's going to scoop it up on that one. Sorry about that misplay earlier in the game. We could have gotten down Demon of Dark Schemes a little bit quicker to kind of mess with our opponent's board state. But you can see pretty much this is what the Scarab God wants to do. You know, get down some sort of value creature like Frexian Delver. Uh, getting a two-for-one off of your activation, being able to bring that back as a full-four zombie, and be able to bring back Grave, Tit uh, Grave Titan to get a lot of zombies on the battlefield really helps you push that uh, upkeep trigger on our opponent. As you can see, we're able to push past the Lingify and Hall of the Gemstone thanks to a beautiful, wonderful Demir Signet. It. But uh, but yeah, this is a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.